Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, once again I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and uh, for that reason in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, and as well to give you a few examples so I can get my point across but at the end uh, you will have to align that reading with your personal situation just like I'm doing for the examples uh, in this video now if you want your your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you uh, predictions for the future for it that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so this is going to be as well a um, enhanced tarot spread uh, which means that we're going to draw additional card per position and man that reading breeds of a lot of hesitation it kind of like it seems that guys I would try to explain it that way you have your thing in front of you you know in front of your nose but for some reason it will take a whole month from from you to see where your direction should be or where you should focus your efforts or rather like what job you should take or whom you should involve yourself with and etc etc at the end of the month something out there is going to happen which is going to give you the answer you seek but the whole month here what for what it seems is that you are going to um juggle around in between options available not knowing uh, what to do or how to approach the situations now this is very well displayed here with the four of cups uh, and the card that we do have next to it that is going to be the seven of wands so what these couple of cards here are pointing is that uh, they are showing your unwillingness for one or another reason to make an action um, and we have a quite of a contradictory here in between these couple of cards now this one uh, we, they are passive enemies and because they are passive enemies it means that you are as well are going to approach the situation very passive if someone can make passive approach but from one hand you know you will want something new to happen or you are to expect something new to happen because you are already on the verge of consuming your current situation like relationship or career wise and yet you are going to be hesitant uh, to uh, make the necessary changes here because simply where you're finding yourself right now right now for one or another reason suits you quite well uh, now that is described here in the synergy in between these couple of cards and what is important when we talk about this specific situation is that you need to realize that uh, you know you cannot sit in one place forever and eventually you will have to make a move now is the move uh, is making a move ideal for the uh, at the start of the month I would rather say no I mean here you are doing the right thing to stall the situation as much as possible but it is important as well when you recognize you know what you need to do um, to kind of like do it without a question if I may express myself that way because the process of uh, waiting for that thing to happen is going to be quite long and uh, you may get used to calculate your moves and your situations as well for quite a lot and that will deprive you from seizing the moment this is what i'm trying to warn you here so to give you an example you know that could be a a proposal for an engagement and even though you want to kind of engage yourself with that person you with the same time will say I'm gonna think about it alright because that could ruin your current experience with the relationship something like this or it could be a proposal for a, a promotion and yet you may you will say 
for example, I will think about it because you like your current place of doing, all right? So something like this, it's kind of like we do have, as I said, a contradictory here that you eventually have to decide how to proceed. And at the end of the month, you know, the right choice is going to become obvious to you, but we are going to get there in a, a few minutes. So what is important uh, for this specific month here with these couple of cards is while you are consuming, uh, you know, the fruits of your labor in your current position to also have in mind that this will not be forever and eventually you need to make your move. However, your move needs to be made intelligently because with the seven of wands, there are people there waiting for you to make a mistake and uh, making no actions for a prolonged period of time is also counted as a mistake. So as soon as you seize the right moment, you need to make your move. So this is going to be the whole challenge and that is as well displayed here with the Six of Swords, but we are gonna get there in a, a minute. So the second card, which is the uh, approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Seven of uh, Pentacles, followed with the uh, or accompanied with the Nine of um, the Nine of Cups. So what these cards are pointing is that before you actually make a move toward the unknown or toward a, you know trust trespass the uh, the threshold, I cannot say a new era, but let's say of. Uh, of your situation transformed uh, with these cards you need to set your things in order I mean you need to consolidate those kind of aspects of your situations either career wise relationship wise or as well both of them to a point where they will be rock solid and uh, nothing or no one will be able to um, to influence them uh, in any way Kind of like uh, if you need to talk with your husband or with your wife or a serious thing, it will serious things or what you plan to do from now on or what you wish to do from now on. Well, this is what you need to do throughout the month. If you want to talk with your uh, boss, you know about the proposed um, uh, for the proposed promotion here and uh, how you see yourself in there what the thing is all about it's kind of like collecting more information uh, about your options available after you step outside of this zone of comfort that we do have here because uh, apart from the four of for the four of pentacles where you can sit there indefinitely with these cards you know your time is ticking and uh, before you know it if you prolong your time sitting in this comfort zone, things are going to start deteriorating with a quite uh, big speed and you don't want that. You know, you want to be long time gone from that position when things are starting to deteriorate. Currently also, excuse me, with uh, with these cards, you have to be vigilant for the moments of action. The Seven of Pentacles is pointing that the decisive... Um, circumstances or a decisive event is just behind the corner all right and because we do have the nine of uh, cups here this event is going to be exhilarating and yet not ideal all right because the nine of cups is not the ideal happiness ten of cups is the ideal happiness with nine of cups things could be slightly better you know but uh, with the seven of pentacles when you calculate the risk you are going to see that this risk is worth taking you know and the only thing that can deprive you from taking this risk is um, is the courage or the lack of courage that you may have or the fear that you may have that uh, you know you may fail which makes us going to the next card here that will be the uh, six of swords accompanied with the uh, six of wands, so we do have double sixes, and double sixes six is the um, is the number of relationships. It's the uh, intimate relationships. Is the number of family, and as well is the number of um, harmonious flow. All right. <clears throat> so what these cards are pointing is that in reality there is nothing there that you are compromising or jeopardizing with you taking that risky move to step outside of your comfort zone by seizing the moment once again you got to seize the moment here that is crucial by seizing the moment and uh, basically uh, 
traversing this this threshold of a new era because the six of uh, swords as a main card explains that that you are sitting in a verge of the threshold of new era in front of yourself or a lot of, like new shores for you to explore and conquer and uh, somewhat you are afraid to do so because you don't know what you're gonna find on the, in these shores all right so you will not know how things are going to proceed if you accept that engagement you will not know how things are going to turn out if you take on this promotion and yet these cards here are pointing you that the best is yet to come should you accept those things and again you have to seize the moment to do so Six of Wands, however, points here that your rewards or from uh, from this quote-unquote risky move or rather this courageous move is how I'm going to name it are going to come uh, are going to be a bit delayed. All right. So if you expect a immediate results from your actions, uh, you may be a bit disappointed here. All right. Uh, because these results are going to come a little bit further into the future that recognition for example career wise or these peak of experiences from uh, taking on that engagement or involving yourself into relationship are going to be delayed a little bit but nonetheless they are going to come around and one more important thing here on a more practical level with these cards is that you have to be the peacemaker that is going to be the challenge for you to, to unite fighting groups of people or fighting um, opposing sides under the banner of the common goal, under the banner of the common fulcrum. And this will happen by you explaining them how much they will lose if they don't unite themselves rather than how much they are going to win if they unite uh, themselves. The next card that we are going to go to, this is going to be the uh, guidance that Saro is offering to you and that is going to be the Five of Swords with the Sun card. So what this combination is um, literally pointing is that you need to do whatever makes you happy at all costs and I mean at all costs and as soon as your situation is start developing naturally so you kind of feel that this is the thing that um, you want and that is something that you kind of cope with very harmoniously and etc etc you have to fight for it and guard it at all costs as well it's important here also to recognize that um, everything has its limits all right and uh, going or trying to expand beyond those limits right currently is not the best thing that you can do because it's going to be very stressful and as well the price for doing it is going to be quite severe. These cards are pointing that you should kind of make peace with people that you are um, having arguments with. Uh, that you have wrangles with if things into your relationship are uh, are not very good um, interaction wise these cards are pointing that you need to kind of like approach your partner and try to negotiate or rather like try to sort the things out because with these cards you can definitely bury down the hatchets right on all cost whatever it takes and you can do so but it is important here to really speak for what makes you despondent into this relationship or what makes your partner despondent for that matter or uh, you know what you don't like for the promotion that it is proposed to you uh, and etc etc so you got to talk about the bad stuff that you think may happen there so kind of like even if they are to happen in the future you are you and the people that are involved into that situation are prepared to cope with those things additionally these cards are pointing that you should not be selfish but rather you should be selfless here and trying to lift up the spirits of the people around you especially if we're talking about relationship here uh, your happiness is going to be tied to your partner's happiness as well so if um, well basically you need to kind of like uh, find a way to be happy when you make your partner happy it's it's this is what these cards are uh, are pointing so you can overcome some wounds that have been inflicted back in the days um, for example especially if 
you have been cheated on and etc etc these cards are pointing that definitely a a forgiveness can be accomplished uh, throughout the month should you have the tendency to do so once again we're talking here about potential but you can completely disregard and go the way you you want to or the way you find is best uh, for you if you are um, unyielding about forgiveness again that is just their guidance here and you can completely ignore it and so at the end we are going to the ace of cups which is the final outcome here with the ten of cups so from nine of cups we are going to the ultimate happiness here what these cards are pointing that at the end of the month uh, these fortunate circumstances that you are waiting here with the seven of cups you know that the right moment is finally going to present itself to you the circumstances which are going to form around you sagittarius are going to make your current problems worries and uh, insecurities completely irrelevant you will definitely know what you need to do and you will be quite happy of how you have to do it as well we are seeing you here at the end of the month being loved being uh, with a good job for example uh, being with a good home I mean you are gonna make your dream come true here uh, one of your dreams let's not be greedy here guys all right so that is in an extreme amount of emotional satisfaction which could be achieved only by one materializing one's dream we are reading here circumstantially all right <clears throat> the Ten of Cups here also is pointing that uh, somewhat the problems of the daily routine, uh, the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Cups are pointing that uh, the problems of the daily routine that you were facing until this very moment uh, somehow are going to bypass you. They will, not, they will no longer bother you. They will no longer cause predicaments to you. They will no longer ruin the whole day. Additionally, the Ace of Cups it is pointing to, uh, as I said, and uh, surprising circumstances which are going to fill your heart with joy and uh, basically everything that is uh, looked through that overflowing joy is going to transcend your daily reality so that as well uh, could be uh, I don't know uh, a person that you can fall in love with and it does look like there is going to be mutual love as well and in generally is going to be a, a direction in your life that you would love to follow <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, it does look like um, Sagittarius that uh, the, the time of waiting things to happen for you is almost over. I mean, you just have to, uh, you just have to persevere through the months of, uh, of February and some courageous actions here needs to be taken as well as uh, seizing the moment and it's going to be a good thing to uh, kind of consolidate and sort your your things together before you do that that decisive move as well but again this move needs to be made intelligently because if you don't do it someone else is going to all right so we do have as i said a competition here at the start of the reading people that are waiting for you to do mistake and making no actions whatsoever is counted as a mistake those people are going to take advantage of that you are hesitant uh, when the time comes when the true moment arrives and that true moment just from the look of this reading is going to come around the end of the month all right so you just make your plans sort your things together and just wait for this fortunate events to happen for you so that being said this was your uh, monthly tower reading for february 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it sagittarius and once again this was a general reading for your star sign and for that reason in this video I explained you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, you will have to align that reading to your personal situation just like I did for the few examples in this video. Now if you want me to do that for you or to analyze your situation just like I did for the examples in this video uh, through Tarot and to give you a prediction of what is to happen that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!